national board. so immediately when 40 vehicles came uh, they were supposed to come from japan the toyota make so india government put a ban saying that we have got the best of the manufacturers in india make it india make in india you buy those vehicles ask them to give money so international federation immediately transferred some few crores of rupees and they floated a tender where tata could bid the tender and uh, fully equipped cardec ambulances were made available bigger states like maharashtra karnataka all those rajasthan up we have got around about 30 plus states where red cross is there all the states in union territory so uh, what happened was they allotted only one ambulance to us because goa is a small state with just 15 lakh population but when i tried to convince them that we said that there are four or five times more population which comes as tourist for us uh, there are floating population again migrant population which has been there so finally i could persuade them and get two and i'm happy to tell you all that one fully equipped ambulance worth 35 35 lakhs each one is given to azilo and one is given to south goa's hospicio hospital we have roped in are are both branches bardis and salsit branch of red cross to be like a parent to them to watch to monitor because tomorrow we would don't want some press photographs coming there putting cylinders or putting some uh, some other things and been transported in our our cardiac ambulance so that that is when i tell you it's been running extremely extremely well both the ambulances are doing well and we're happy that we can at least save people save life you know because cardiac you have a heart attack that, that can be treated first it can be given in the volunteers also you know they came up openly they said we will deliver to kalangod we will go to betim we will go to here you know these these people even there was a couple from ukraine uh, who who was here stuck for almost one and half two months and she was pregnant we got a call from our national headquarters saying that embassy has requested to go and thanks to rio i'll take his name because rio could go with a special vehicle with a pass from the collector right to 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 morji interiors and we could through our local volunteers there we could find out because picture was there we could find where she was staying we then next day he takes her them her both husband and wife to azilo hospital get got all the treatment done eight months pregnant finally ninth months delivery we we got it done at azilo so this is what we go extra miles my dear friends it's not like we are sitting idle here we may not be here all 24 hours or all morning you know because we come when required but we have people like john agiar who is now join us uh, a few months back doing excellent work our rio sachin alka there are all these old staff who are there we have for ages here and they know what our red cross means hmm? our uh, new managing committee uh, we have just received from the collector's office saying that we have been elected uh, the counting is over but an official communication uh, of to hold a meeting and all will come from governor's office so once it comes then first meeting we are going to elect the chairman the vice chairman and of course uh, the treasurer will be elected at the, after presentation of accounts at the agm so our yearly agm is at uh, rajbhavan uh, somewhere in august and or september as per the convenience of our president so he gives us the date so i would also invite you all to cover our agm uh, it's nice and we uh, we have now i believe we going to circulate the last year's annual report you can have a look uh, what we do what we have done and uh, uh, any questions then friends no, if the case is already been dismissed so there is nothing to be told about it because uh, we don't know what is gone wrong it is the court has found that there is no uh, base in it so they have dismissed it no what has happened anybody is free we are in democratic yeah. setup anybody can and go to the people court. who like to join us are more welcome we have never <coughs> said no to anybody 
so we require hands we are all volunteers here right if some more volunteers come we never say no but at least you come you show your face do something only during elections is like a mushroom coming out during the season that is bad so i believe um, the case has been dismissed and high court has thrown it out because it's against the state because we don't conduct elections we are nobody we handed over the needs conducted collector, by the governor's collector. office collector's office and government of goa so they they were they were fighting but we know that it has been thrown out thousand three hundred plus members here. Yeah. How many volunteers are working like? All are volunteers. I am a member means I am a volunteer. I come as a volunteer as a member here. Yeah. Plus in addition to that there are yeah. GRC and YRC. So those students they also act as, a, as our volunteers. Volunteer. But what happens since they are young they can't give blood. We yeah, cannot take them out. True. But within that community, school, their houses, neighborhood they can do. Hmm? They are also taught. Uh, Members or volunteers? Total Maybe. members which are called volunteers. It's equals members is the same as volunteers. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. But they have the voting rights. Uh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Vo voting right is there for everybody, right from patron, vice patron, life, life, and life, life associates. So, do you help any medical student if you want to pursue higher studies? There is a medical student and who's economically. You mean economical yeah. finance? So I told you we don't have any financial, but we can arrange through our sources. These are all stalwarts. Don't worry. That way we can try and do much anything possible. We also did home nursing courses. Uh, we did about three batches. Uh, these are all dropouts. Twelfth uh, standard, eleventh standard. We are now planning to do again. Uh, what happens? You know, when there is an elderly parent in a house. And the husband and wife are working, and they go morning out. They come in the evening home. So somebody is required to take care about that elderly person, like injections, diabetic tablets, or sugar monitoring. Give food, take him to the toilet, her to the toilet, uh, change uh, by sponging, and all those things. So all basic thing. That's a little one stage below a nurse. You can say a, an assistant to a nurse, but she can even inject. He or she can inject. Do all read the prescription. Do know basic things. Taking up the pressure. Look at the pulses. All those things he can. He or she can do. And 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 that's and per day they are not earning less than six hundred to eight hundred rupees. You know those guys. Even the boys who have worked. I mean, got trained here as a home nursing. They got job in factories because the factory for you need a first aider. Every factory there's a rule according to the company law. That you need to have a trained first aid trained guy who who knows there, so they they could get twenty thousand plus initial once they join. Mostly from rural areas. I mean, what is Punjab city? In the name, because the dropouts are there. Yeah, all from rural areas. So yeah, you know that. Oh, Tali Gaon Chi, Kon Morji Chi, Kon Vere Chi. Yeah, it's a three months course, and we have on a regular basis medical camps which have been organized. uh oh, i don't know how many recently we had a camp uh, on 24th of july at monoshan i don't know how many of camp. we had the uh, um, uh, uh, people from different hospitals who came asg had come i checkups were there we 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 have also lined up some cataract operations free spectacles were given to some of them needy then the blood testing basically the hemoglobin and glucose both were done blood donation drive was also organized there were dental full team from goa dental college had come uh, they did the basic dental check up if there was something which required more care they were in called at at a particular opd on a particular day at gm gm uh, dental college so all those things are coming through red cross my dear friends so it's not that we are we just we just don't care we we want to serve people we are all here see we have our own businesses and professions we are all are extremely very busy people who you see here but they take out time because they have love to do some work keep that in mind this is not the only source that, that we should come and we we need to see there are some allegations where we have seen people are talking about that we don't but i would like to tell you that we are here to serve what to, i'll tell you what more we do, do. we also operate from this office at the moment is a medical bank and i know tara will watch for me uh, we we have wheelchairs we have uh, water beds we have walkers we have got clutches 
and uh, oxygen cylinders uh, which are given on a loan basis again these are all on a loan basis at no cost keep that in mind we don't charge anything we have uh, oxygen concentrators also which was brought from during covid time uh, 150 imported we have given few to the hospitals and we have given to the needy who are still using for months together for their age parents and all you know and no cost sometimes it gets spoiled we just ask them to bring and we give them a new one so the oxygen cylinders also in case of emergencies and all they take it from us right with the bottle valves spanner everything has been given so this is a one of our services what we operate that's a medical bank we uh, you must be knowing last year uh, there was a big campaign for tb mukta bharat uh, government of india had organized uh, uh, through uh, to their uh, health departments and goa was not less goa since president uh, uh, governor called us up and, and he said we need to take this program forward and just because of modi's 72 birthday 72nd birthday what he completed 72 years Goa government identified amongst 1,500 plus TB patients which are there, chronic TB patients, there may be more, but all 1,500 didn't require our support. There were few, they said identify 72 people who re really required nutritional support uh, and which were difficult for them to take care. So we could make 72 boxes which under the guidelines of government of India and uh, we had to give in to deliver those at different places across Goa. Someone, three patients in Mandur, two in Goa Vela, one, one somewhere in Vashko, one in Salset, Makazana and all those things. So what, what we did was, we, we uh, since uh, health department was involved, we requested them that we could give it to the particular health department so that the patient who comes is also not identified by our volunteers. So they are sometimes shy to come and say, I have got a TB. And it's a, so they do. They didn't want to come and, freeze and, and, and meet us. So what we did was we gave to all those different places. And for 12 months, believe me, my friends, for 12 months, 72 boxes, not missing a single month. Uh, thanks to governor, he sponsored the first kit. The first one month, uh, he did it through Raj Bhavan. The cost was about 60,000 each month. So 12 into 60 is 7 lakh 20 thousand plus is not only the money, the, the delivery and the time thanks to our volunteers of our office who used to take, who used to go with this, all those boxes in the car early morning and by evening they used to return back delivering. So there were particular Nashna, uh, eggs, the condensed milk and all those type of things were there, rice, ragi and all. So millets were more there because that was a more pro protein pro value. Uh, food for the TB patient. To all of you here in the Red Cross Society, Goa State Branch, uh, I just want to introduce, I'll introduce first myself for those people who don't know me. I'm Gaurish Dhon. I'm a volunteer here in Red Cross uh, for uh, almost about 20 25 years and uh, have been, uh, I have served as an ordinary member, I have served on the managing committee. I have served as a vice chairman and I have served also as a chairman of Indian Red Cross Society of Goa. Uh, to my uh, immediate right is Mr. Mario Santana Pinto, uh, who is also a very active volunteer of Red Cross uh, for quite long ages. And he is also a part of our managing committee. To my left uh, is Mr. Mangirish Pairaikar, you all know him. <coughs> he has been associated in various organizations of Goa. And he's also a, a very active volunteer of Red Cross uh, for almost two decades and more. Uh, he's also there in a committee. To my next right, uh, next right to Mario uh, is Dr. Lenny De Costa from Margao. He's a practicing doctor, a well-known doctor from Margao, and and a very good social worker and a volunteer of Red Cross. Uh, to the extreme right, uh, we have young face uh, Rajesh Salgaonkar, uh, who happens to be in Red Cross earlier also, he's a very active volunteer of Red Cross. Uh, to, to the left of Mr. Mangirish Pai Raikar is Mr. Salim Isani, a businessman from Mapsa and a very active volunteer in our Bardes branch uh, of Red Cross. He's been here for the first time now on the State Managing Committee. 
and to the extreme left mr ajay menon again is a bardes uh, uh, and he is also very active uh, in various social organizations and and we said let us take that opportunity to involve him in the managing committee so what you see today a seven of us are the new managing committee for the term 2024 2027 uh we have been just declared elected this morning uh by the sub divisional of uh, collector in panaji the on the election process was conducted by collector's office uh, through the directions of uh, governor of goa uh, and uh, he he instructs the chief secretary and then it goes down and the elections were conducted uh well friends you all know or indian red cross society as a body is not a government organization neither is an ngo it's a statutory voluntary body uh which has been uh, in uh, organized or recognized under act of parliament 15 in 1920 although the president of india is a national president of indian red cross society uh the state governors are the presidents of the local states basically now goa we have uh, a president is uh, the governor of goa uh, shridhar pillai ji so uh, it's in all the states like that whereas at national body uh, we have the union health minister who is the chairman there whereas the local chairman state chairmen have been elected the vice chairmen have been elected the treasurer is been elected and then we have a state uh, other district branches like bardes branch salset branch pennem branch kunko we have uh, sanklim branch we have got bicholim branch so all those heads of those branches are nominated as an as as a member of our managing committee committee and they have been invited so there are five departments of goa government who are also a part of our managing committee on invitation there are social welfare education department the fire and emergency service uh, the health uh, services sports and, and sports and youth affairs these are the five heads who come there or they nominate some senior most so that our programs our activities get a boost and they we take it further so there were different allocations on our part we said let us come together and uh, as a as a single body let us uh, talk to the press and let people know that these are the people who means voluntary service who are here to serve people who are here to do some humanitarian services you all must have seen us i don't think that this faces what you see today here sitting here are new to you but i would just go and brief what what we have done wherever this place where you sit here we use for all our first aid courses home nursing courses uh, the small training programs again blood donation drives uh, it's not only uh, blood donation drives what we do but we get it organized for lao such as bank of india or some hotels or some departments they don't have place they don't have manpower so we said come here let us do jointly so we organize blood donation drive we motivate all the ngos like rotary lion jcs to do it here so that they have a ready uh, space available they have the manpower hands which are available and expertise and this blood goes to goa medical college we don't have a facility of storing or processing the blood so it goes to goa medical college thus it helps goa medical college's blood bank uh, all emergencies the open heart surgeries which requires we try and help these are all basic services what we do well uh, I